What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be sharing some of my Dragonite Chen Pao highlights from my Global Challenge run. Now, this team was built around Chen Pao Metagross, but Dragonite and Chen Pao, that's an old classic combo, and it still does great. This team also has a Volcarona, which can counter the Flutter Mains that give this core a little bit of problem, and also an Ogre Pond for a little redirection, and Raging Bolt just for a little more coverage and more priority. But anyway, let's go and check it out. All right, Alfonso, you are rocking a Gengar. Oh, and also Fire Ogre Pond, Dragonite, King Gambit, Primarina, and Landorus Eye. How do I want to get at this one? Primarina and King Gambit. And Gengar. Super cool. I'm sure they're up to some shenanigans. Chen Pao Dragonite isn't bad. They have two things that can take an E-speed in their King Gambit and Gengar, but those are both weak to Chen Pao. And for when those eventually break me, we have Volcarona, who's pretty good into them. We have... Ogre Pond, who's okay. Raging Bolt is also pretty good against everything but Lando. Ogre Pond's good into Lando. But Ogre Pond is bad into Dragonite. Volcarona's bad into a lot of those. I'm not going to bring Volcarona. It's going to be Metagross? Weak to Gengar, Landorus, King Gambit. No, it's not that. It's these two. It's Ogre Pond, Raging Bolt. Yeah, Chen Pao, Dragonite, Ogre Pond, Raging Bolt. Those are our most powerful tools. We have so much pressure against Landorus that I don't think Raging Bolt has much to be afraid of. Because every other thing can do massive damage to Landorus. Gengar and Primarina is their lead. What does that mean? I don't understand what's happening. I don't really get it. I don't get it. I'm going to Terra Normal E-Speed the Prim. And I'm going to Ice Spinner the Gengar. I'm really suspicious about what that Gengar is up to, though. And they brought it. Man, I do not know. They gotta be up to something. Alright, Terra Normal on the D-Knight. Let's start punching some holes. Prime Marina just protects. Great. What do you have, Gengar? Do you have, like, Will-O-Wisp? Do you have, like, Destiny Bond? Marriage Song? Icy Wind? I don't know what you're gonna do. No idea what you're gonna do. Trip. Yeah, I really didn't know what you were gonna do. Trick room. All right. Yeah, I did not see that coming in the slightest. Huh. All right. Extreme speed into pre marina, and I'll just protect now. Or I'll sucker punch Gengar. I don't know. I'm, I'm worried about that game. I'm protecting. Okay, they swap out. Is this King Gambit then? It is King Gambit. Hopefully we can do decent damage with our extreme speed. How much do we get for? It's about a quarter. Encore. I see. Well then, I guess I extreme speed the King Gambit again, or I could bring Dragonite out. Gosh, I don't really know. I could swap both out. Swap in Ogre Pond and Raging Bolt. And do some redirecting and start sweeping with Bolt, I guess. I <laughs> I don't know. It's a Gengar. 
I don't know what to do about Trick Room Encore Gengar. I have no idea what, I, what it's doing. And then it's, it's slower in Trick Room, so Encore would work on the Chen Pao's Protect unless I Sucker Punch. Man, I don't... I don't know. Now watch, they're gonna predict that swap and they're gonna Sludge Bomb into the Ogre Pond. Or they got a Steel type, they could Sludge Wave. Tao Tao Sleep goes into that slot. I did not expect that. Wow, that did so much. Wow, that did too much damage. Okay, not cool. They have Sludge Bomb. I think I still use Follow Me. No. There's a lot of trick room left. I'm gonna protect. Try to get out of this. Man. Man. This Gengar is destroying my life. Now they're taking their time. They're... Okay, Gengar's out of here. Understandable. Into their own Dragonite. Uh, their Dragonite would go first in Trick Room, so it can E-Speed successfully if it wants to. Tao Tao Cleave is into the Raging Bolt. I'm just gonna launch an Ivy Cudgel into their King Gambit. And a Thunderclap into their King Gambit. Yep, they just extreme speed though. Understandable. Ooh boy. Dragonite, you got a lot of cleaning up to do. Ogre Pond takes that pretty much. Well. Critical hit brings King Gambit super low. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. We are back. We are going Dragonite. We spiky shield the ogre pond. I think I do. An extreme speed into their king gambit. That's what I want to do. I think if they're going to launch an e speed, it's going to be into the ogre pond. All right, all right, all right. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Oh, they could get another Trick Room up, maybe. That would be annoying. Oh, it's time for their Terrastalization. Into Steel. Okay, I don't really find that. Spiky Shielded. King Gambit has protect. Interesting. Our Dragonite is faster than their Dragonite. That's something. And they go Outrage. And they hit our Dragonite. Wowza. Well, they're locked into that now. Which means we can get an Ivy Cudgel onto them. But what is going on? I... This guy's team is crazy. And it's getting me. It's not crazy in a bad way, it's crazy in a... I'm not able to predict anything they do. Sort of way. Now maybe they're just like multi-scale and take no damage from the Ivy Cudgel, swap in Gengar to the E-Speed. Who knows? No, they do let me take out King Gambit. Which is good. I kind of had to do that so Ogre Pond couldn't get Sucker Punch. Then 
we get our Ivy Cudgel off. That does great damage to Dragonite. Our Dragonite goes down. Alright, I hope you have another turn of that. I would be very happy to see you not be confused yet. They are not confused yet. That's great. We can Ivy Cudgel them all day. Or Sacred Sword, though. Either one, depending on who they bring out. If they bring out Gengar, I need to go for Ice Spinner into that. If they bring out Primarina, I need to go to a Wood Hammer. It's Primarina, okay. Sacred Sword, Wood Hammer. Should be a good play here. They could protect. That's fine. Sacred Sword into Dragon Knight. And the worst case would be Gengar swap in for Primarina, disables Wood Hammer. That would be really bad, actually. <laughs> well, I don't think they're gonna do that. Shen Pao cannot take out Primarina. Listen, man, all you got to choose is what Primarina does. You're the one who committed to Outrage. Oh, they are doing that. Wait a minute. They get this cursed body and it's all over. Or at least a lot of it's over. Wouldn't be cursed bodied forever. Alright. At least Gengar's gone. No more shenanigans from you. Oh, one last shenanigan? You're kidding me. And I called that out too. Wow. Wow, we three whole more turns. Well, I do get the double protect this turn. Maybe they go after Ogre Pond, though. So I get an ice spinner off. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, no. No, don't do me like this. I had it. Oh no. Okay. Let me see what you got. Let me see how much you take an ice spinner before I freak out. Wow! Was that a crit? That was a crit. It's just a Moonblast into Chen Pao. No, I think this might be okay. Because if you... You can't hit both of us. Ivy Cudgel Ice Spinner. Should have it. Yeah, I think we've got it. You don't have enough defense. Yes! 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 Goodbye, Primarina. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Gengar. Wow. Did not expect Primarina and Gengar to be a problem today. Okay, we are fighting... Ooh, a Slowbro? That's cool. All right, we're fighting Tornadus, Fluttermane, Indeedee, Blood Moon, Slowbro, and Entei. No grass type. Because they have Slowbro Entei, you would think there'd be a grass type there to fill out the core. But it's probably Psy Spam Slowbro which is sick. That is so sick. Uh, Volcarona's pretty good against all of that except Entei, which is why we do Volcarona Okapon. That's the combo. And that's a good combo. Woodhammer is also pretty threatening into their Slowbro and their Blood Moon. Uh, if they do the Tornadus and Fluttermane lead, that's still a good lead for us. Um, Entei lead would be a little annoying but they would have to Terra to get around Ivy Cudgel, which would probably make them weak or at least neutral to Heat Wave. Extreme Speed is a little annoying from that Entei. All right, that's a good that's a good front line. Who do we want in the back? I can't. Oh, Metagross is like it doesn't do much damage to Slowbro, doesn't do much damage to Blood Moon, it doesn't do much damage to Entei. It's weak to Entei, but it can take Psy Spam. 
I guess taking Psy Spam isn't the end-all be-all. I think Dragonite is pretty cool, and uh, I, uh, I probably shouldn't have brought Metagross. I brought Metagross, it's good against Flutter, it's good against Tornadus, but I don't know if they're bringing those two. We don't have a way to stop Trick Room, so I think they'll just go with the Trick Room mode. Which I'm honestly fine with. But let's see what they do. It's Entei and Tornadus. Okay, did not expect to see this. Then what we want is to launch a giant Ivy Cudgel into that Entei. And probably just protect the Volcarona. I think that's the play. Not what I expected at all, but I'm more confident with my backline now. I expected just Indeedy Slowbro. Hmm. I still hope I see Slowbro. Slowbro is so cool. I hope they still have it anyway. Alright, we're terrestrializing, but we're faster than every Entei in the world. So that's not a surprise. They still could pop grass or whatever. But we're comfortable with grass because we're protecting Volcarona. And then we can redirect some move and hit you with a heat wave. Oh, okay. No Terra from Entei. Oh, a sunny day. That will protect you. Okay, I get it. Sunny day and we're faster though. You didn't tailwind. Amazing damage to Entei. And Sacred Fire goes into Volt. Oh, I'm so happy about that. That's excellent. Honestly, that is as good as it gets. Now they're going to Tailwind and launch a big Sacred Fire. And they targeted Volcarona, so they know Volcarona's a threat. I could redirect and Heat Wave. I could just launch another Ivy Cudgel. But I'd have to swap Dragonite into a fire move for that. Yeah. Alright. It's a little risky toward Dragonite, but I'd rather lose Dragonite to a burn than all my Volcarona for no reason. Yeah, and they do Tailwind. Presumably they Sacred Fire as well. Yep, just as expected. We take about half. No burn! No burn! Oh yes! That is so good. Volcarona's biggest enemy is now gone. Now Tornadus is still annoying for Volcarona because it's hit it, but that's great. Now we can... They probably have Fluttermane. That's not Fluttermane. Would they have brought Fluttermane? They could just do, be doing that to block priority from our end. They already set up Tailwind. I don't think they would be Blood Moon or Slowbro. I think it's Fluttermane in the last slot. Which is sad, because I kind of want to Outrage. But I guess an Aerial Ace and an Ivy Cudgel is fine. No. Aerial Ace and Wood Hammer into the Indeedy. Yeah, they're, they're following me anyway. Tornadus, you've got Bleak Windstorm, but you're not that scary. Ogre Pond dodges. Dragonite won't even go down to the next one. We're very bulky, Dragonite. I don't think this is enough to take- Oh, it is enough! Oh, that's a lot! Wow! Yeah, that should do it. And that's all Indeedy. Goodbye, Indeedy. Okay. Dropping left and right. And it's gotta be Fluttermane, right? That doesn't look like Fluttermane. That's Blood Moon! Okay. Uh, 
Uh, where's the tailwind counter? Two turns of tailwind remain. Not really... I guess Metagross is a safe spot for Dragonite. And I'll just spiky shield to stall a little bit. Yeah, I think that's the right play. I'm just trying to stall out this Tailwind so that they have to try to set it back up. Or something. Stalling Psychic is good too. Makes sense that you would Terra here. I think you're probably Terra normal. You always are. You just don't want to take super effective Wood Hammer. Mm -hmm. Now show me, like, Blood Moon into Ogre Pond. That's what I want to see here. Because then you can't do that again. Yeah, Bleak Windstorm is obvious. You don't really have anything else to click. Connect on Metagross for 20 damage exactly. Whoa! No! No, 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 no. Not cool. That is not okay. That is very uncool, Blood Moon. What the heck? You... No. No, 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 no. Calm Mind is not okay. I am not okay with this. Last turn of sun. Um, I don't like that. What does Tornadus take from Heavy Slam? Okay, it's max power. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, you just Bleak Wind Storm, and presumably you outspeed in Blood Moon. Oh, now you definitely outspeed. Oh, it's Hyper Voice. Uh, does that take out Ogre Pond? It might. It did. Wow. Oh, it was a crit on Ogre Pond. Now we'll never know. But plus one paranormal Hyper Voice at a, on a plus one Ogre Pond? Hmm. And your throat spray. You didn't have any boosting item before. Now you're at plus two special attack. I was feeling good, but now I don't know. Okay, Sun is down, Tailwind is down. We could Dragonite and prevent Tailwind from going back up. Is that worth it? I don't know. Huh. This is real tough. I don't think there's any way we stop Tailwind, because I would have to extreme speed, and then I would lose Dragonite. I'm just gonna bullet punch to make sure that goes down, and I guess protect Volcarona for now. Man, this Blood Moon's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I don't see any reason they wouldn't just go for Tailwind, but if they don't, we can bullet punch them. Oh, wow. I was feeling so good. And then Tailwind Blood Moon. It might have needed the speed drop to catch the Ogre Pond, too. Yeah, they just Tailwind. Alright. Get off our bullet punch. Now, hopefully Volcarona can take a Hyper Voice, but I don't even know if it does. Can Metagross take this one? It does, that's good. Man. Now do I go for Struggle Bug for a little bit of damage reduction? Does it even matter? And I'm not doing much damage because of their... Uh, man. Let's see what Volcarona takes. Ooh, that is so much damage. They got the special defense boost, so I'm not going to do any damage anyway. Yeah, Heat Wave wouldn't have been much better. Man. 
weirdness is gone, so we get to E speed. How much value does that really have? They have two tailwind turns. All we get is we get extreme speed, we get a double protect on Volcarona, and then we crit a heat wave. That is such a low odds. Oh, good game, Blood Moon. Wow. That's pretty good damage from extreme speed, honestly. And Heat Wave doing double struggle bug. Now we have to crit the Heat Wave and get the double protect. It's an out to play too, but wow. Now they have no reason not to click Blood Moon. We're never going to heal out of range. So double protect for the last turn of Tailwind. One step at a time. Okay, we don't even get that. Good game, Blood Moon. Alright, we've got Jay here with the Thunderous, Fluttermane, Walking Wake, Rillaboom, Golden Go, and Entei. I'm guessing Thunderous has Sunny Day. That's what I think you've got here. I think you've got Sunny Day Thunderous with two Protosynthesis and a Fire type. You've got a Fire Water Grass Core, you got a Golden Go. How am I gonna beat this? I want to say Volcarona. It's good against everything except Wake. And weight can be redirected with Ogre Pond, so I think that's actually pretty good. As much as I want to do Chen Pao Dragonite, Golden Go is a problem for that. I could take out everything around Golden Go, but then Golden Go is still a problem. But if I do Volcarona Ogre Pond, that destroys Golden Go. So maybe I could do Dragonite Chen Pao in the back. Uh, Raging Bolt is pretty good here. Um, they have a Fluttermane and a Dragon-type. Entei could have Snarl. Maybe it's not the best. Metagross? Metagross isn't the best here, honestly. Everything there can hit it for some damage. So I think it is Chen Pao Dragonite in the back. Finally, there's no Frigoraph that I'm facing, so... Might be time to finally use that. But I've been leaning pretty hard into Volcarona. Volcarona has been impressing me a lot. It did good in testing, but I figured that must be a fluke, because it's a Volcarona. Volcarona isn't meta. Volcarona can't be good. But let's try to prove that it is. Alright, they go with Thunderous and Fluterman. With a speed booster energy. You have booster energy for speed? Really? You're not going to just let Sun do it? You could have had the speed boost and a specs or something. That makes me a lot less scared of you. Um, what I'm a little bit afraid of is like thunder waves, um, walking wake in the back, so I want to save Dragon Terra. I would love to terrestrialize Ogre Pond right now, but I don't think it's time. I need to follow me in case they have taunt or thunder wave. They definitely have thunder wave. There's no way they wouldn't have thunder wave. Oh, and they just protect Fluttermane. Okay. That's cool with me. Follow me goes off. And I'd rather see Thunder Wave or Sunny Day rather than Taunt. It is Thunder Wave, that's annoying. But I get my boost, and I guess I should start attacking immediately. I'm not faster than Fluttermane yet. I think I need to get to plus three to be faster for sure. Because plus two, I would only be like two. 76. Fluttermane could still be faster than that. Um, Dragonite is looking pretty good. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with just another follow me. It's starting to throw heat waves. I don't want to push my luck in Quiver Dance again. Oh no! Full para immediately? And they have Power Gem! You have Protect and Power Gem! That's so bad! Oh wow! Oh. Hey, 
and they get the para on Volcarona. Oh man. Okay, we did good damage. We need... Wow. So now they could protect... Oh, if we'd gotten that redirect, it would've just gone into Ogre Pond. Oh, man. Now, I can't rely on both of these Pokemon moving, so a double protect is a throw. Thunderous is gonna get her Wild Bolt Storm off. I think I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel and go for a Protect. If I can get it, I might get out of Wild Bolt Storm range. Aw, oh, man. That is tough. Speed Booster with Power Gem. You can't see that coming. There's nothing I could do about that. And then I made the right play. I tried to redirect it. Okay, a Dazzling Gleam. Does a good chunk. Wild Bolt Storm. At least we got the Protect on Volcarona. That's big. Oh, and we dodge with Ogre Pond? Okay, Ogre Pond, can you move this turn? Yes. Good. Flutter Mane is down. That opens things up for Dragonite significantly. Now tell me you didn't also bring Golden Go. Because Volcarona is my answer to Golden Go. <sighs> well, I figured I would have got paralyzed eventually. But why did it have to be through Wild Bolt Storm and Power Gem? Wow. I'm never getting over that. Okay, it's Entei. Then I think what you do is you attack Ogre Pond with like Sacred Fire and just throw another Wild Bolt Storm. Terastalizing wouldn't save Ogre Pond because of the Wild Bolt Storm double up. So I'm gonna throw an Ivy Cudgel. And then if I survive, I'll throw a Heat Wave. I could Dragon Terra, but then I want to save that for Dragonite, and they could just be e-speeding Volcarona here. This might, yeah, they just e-speeded the Volcarona. That's good, actually. I don't think a single target Wild Bolt will take down Ogre Pond. It might, though. Depends on their investment. It doesn't. But we're paralyzed anyway. No! All right, Dragonite, it's your time. I think it's most likely that they go for an E-Speed into Ogre Pond, so I guess I should Spiky Shield. Their Thunderous could have some sort of Terra to be resistant or immune to E-Speed too, so I don't think I want to go after that yet. Man. I think I'll just follow me. And extreme speed into Entei. Man. Ugh. Alright, we're, we're not out of this. I shouldn't be... I, okay. Dragonite's terrestrializing. That means Thunderous isn't terrestrializing, which means we probably could have just e-speeded that. No way does Entei go down to this E speed, but it should do half, I would think. We're going first? Are they a super slow Entei? Or are they not extreme speeding? Oh, they're Citrus Berry Entei. That's interesting. And Ogre Pond is paralyzed again? No! Now they're gonna get the Sacred Fire and the Thunder Wave. That Thunder Wave should have been into Ogre Pond with the Follow Me and a Trailblaze. I don't really understand that. Ah, oh, these Paralyzes are so tough. And I'm gonna Extreme Speed into Thunderous now. Okay, they finally E-Speed the Ogre Pond. That's fine. Oh, we've had our share of paralyzes so far. We are not overdue for more of those. Man. Trailblaze makes them faster than our Dragonite. Well, so does the Paralyze. 
if they weren't already, but it also can make them faster than Chen. And it's walking away. Okay. I think what I want to do is... I kind of want to protect, but I also don't. Would their walking wake potentially protect? I think E-Speed picks up their Entei. So I think I'm actually fine if I protect and Extreme Speed into their Entei. Okay, they finally pop their Terra. What do you have? Your wake has Fairy. Uh, that resists Sucker Punch. I get it. Okay. Genpao pulls out the Protect, so Entei shouldn't be protecting. And it's not E-Speeding either. And it's D. D-E-A-D. Dead. Goodbye, Entei. That's great. Now show me, like, Terra Blast. Oh, no, no, not into that. <laughs> into Genpao, I meant. I didn't mean it seriously, no. Oh, but we take that pretty comfortably. Cool. Alright, now it's Ice Spinner, and no choice but to E-Speed. If we get the E-Speed, that should be enough on its own. Oh, Dragonite's fully paralyzed. It's not over. Ice Spinner probably does over half. Yeah, well over half. We're good. Woo! Oh, and they're gonna let Dragonite try another E-Speed. Cool. I guess their win con is Dragonite keeps getting paralyzed and they can beat Chen Pao somehow. But, not gonna happen. I don't think you, you might get Aqua Jet. I don't know. If you have it, that's crazy, go for it. It's never over until it's over, you know? This one feels pretty over though. For all those paralyzes though, Okay, just protect. Protect and Oh, I got another Paralyze! <laughs> oh, I am getting my share of Paralyzes out of the way in this game. Next time I get Paralyzed, I'm gonna be confident that it won't be full. And when I get Paralyzed, I don't waste an E-Speed PP, so... There it is. Good game. And that was a good game. That was tough. Oh, the... I thought Volcarona would sweep this game, and it would have without Paralyze existing. Good game, Jay. Okay, we're fighting a Cresselia, regular Ursaluna, Incineroar, Primarina, Corviknight, and Fluttermane. They're leading pretty hard in the Trick Room mode, but it's a physical Trick Room mode. That's something I'm not really prepared for. Fortunately, they don't have priority blocking, so Dragonite and Chen Pao are pretty cool. Alright, how do I want to stop their Trick Room? There's no way I am stopping their Trick Room entirely. But Dragonite is super cool. Blood... Not the Blood Moon Bear, the Bear. The Bear is scary. I think I need Ogre Pond for that. That Bear is too scary. Alright, Dragonite Chen Pao probably in the back. And maybe Raging Bolt. Volcarona's not that great here, but maybe Metagross is. I want Ogre Pond. Man, this is a tough matchup. Chen Pao Dragonite in the back. Raging Bolt Ogre Pond, I think, in front. Ooh boy. I don't know. I brought a lot of Fluttermane weaknesses as well. Just because Volcarona doesn't have the right matchup here. I think they would lean toward their bear. I do think that's what they're gonna go with, so I'm gonna have to clean up with these speed and Sucker Punch. And we also have Thunderclap. Cresselia and Fluttermane.
If I could do some damage to Fluttermane, I'd be pretty happy. No booster energy on that Fluttermane either. Ooh, do I want to Terra Ogre Pond right away? I really, really don't. might have to, but I don't want to. I'm not going to. If I'm gonna win this whole game... Oh, it's- oh, it's a helping hand! Oh, no. It's not a Terra, though. And it's just a Dazzling Gleam. I think Ogre Pond can take a Specs Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam, right? Not if it's a crit! Oh, no! No, why? Uh... Okay. Sorry, Ogre Pond. I guess our play is Thunderclap and Sucker Punch into that Flutter... Oh, we're, we're max speed. Sucker... Ice Spinner and Thunderclap into that. But, man! That is rough. Oh, yeah, they just swap out, so we at least get the Ice Spinner. Show me a bear. Incineroar. <sighs> Crit Dazzling Gleam. Take us out. Alright, we get not meaningful chip into that Incineroar, and they finally set up Trick Room. They have a fake out turn. It's in our best interest not to give them much momentum. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt their Insin. And I can protect here. I don't lose much for doing that. Unless they just go right into Bear. They did just go right into the Bear. Presumably then you would fake out Pen Pal, just so you can't take any damage on the bear, letting me get this Thunderbolt off. Yeah, at least that's good. Good damage on the Ensign, no Citrus Berry on the Ensign. Time to start stalling out Trick Room. We're gonna protect the Bolt and we're gonna go into Dragonite. Yeah. Then we'll have Terra Normal E Speed ready to go. I don't think they would facade into a Chen Pao. Terra Ghost is still on the table. I expect a Headlong Rush or a Sword Dance or something. Oh, it is a facade right into the Chen Pao! I don't know what to say. They're just clicking the win button. And it's working. They crit the Ogre Pond for the KO, and then they facade into what could have been a ghost. Wow. They are insane. Okay. How do I get back into it? Two turns of Trick Room left. They wanted to double Chen Pao, but they won't do it this time. I don't think they'll double it this time. They just hard switch Incineroar. Like Cresselia is going to take a Thunderbolt. Oh, this could be an Earthquake then. Oh, uh, we both eat the Earthquake. And then we can stop the bear. If we can lock it into a position where we can do that. Thunderbolt does about 40% to Crest. Ice Spinner does... 
almost all to Ursaluna. Okay, it's last turn of Trick Room. Bear's going down at the end of the turn. That's actually bad. They could bring out Incineroar after the bear goes down. They could also hard swap it. Shoot, is Double Protect my play? I don't know, I think they swap the bear for Incin and then they get the fake out and they set up Trick Room again. Oh no, they swap the, swap the Cresselia for Incin. Okay. We just protect our guys. Then we lose Chen Pao to a fake out. Oh, they kill their own Incineroar! That is not the play I expected. Wait a minute. Do we have a chance? You have Cresselia and you have Fluttermane. Presumably your Fluttermane is choice. It comes down to whether your Cresselia has Ally Switch. Because double priority, well, we don't even need double priority. Oh, no, the problem though, is your Cresselia can take us out. But it's in Draco range. And I don't think it knocks out both of us if it has Dazzling Wing. Okay, so the next play, we Thunderclap the Fluttermane, and we Ice Spinner the Fluttermane. Fluttermane goes down. Cresselia takes out Chen Pao. And then Raging Bolt knocks out Cresselia with a Draco Meteor. If they have ally switch here, they could just use that and win. They're terrestrializing? They're terrestrializing the Fluttermane. Into Fairy. They just don't want to take super, uh, a neutral from Sucker Punch. It's okay, I'm not Sucker Punching. Now, if you're max speed and win a speed tie, there's nothing I can do about that. Thunderclap does great damage. And they win the speed tie? Are you kidding me? Sometimes Fluttermane just doesn't want you to win. I don't know what to say. That you crit something and you win a speed tie by being max speed Fluttermane. I. Okay. Okay, we've got a rain team here. Pelipper, Archaladon, Urshifu, along with a Moongus, Fluttermane, and a Chen Pao. What do I want to do here? I want to extreme speed spam. That's what I really want to do. Is it the play though? Volcarona would have to tear a dragon to take water moves, but isn't bad. Maybe I could E-Speed Spam Volcarona in the back. I could also bring Bolt. Raging Bolt is really good. Only problem with Raging Bolt is them having a Moongus. Raging Bolt is good against most of those things. Oh, I need something that can take out our Chaladon, and that's Chen Pao, really. I guess Bolt is pretty good into it, too. So I'll bring Bolt. And then do I bring Volcarona? It's good into the Amoongus unless they Terra Water, which they might. But if they Terra Water, I can Thunderbolt it. Something Bolt's pretty good at. Uh, I need something that can take on the Fluttermane. Metagross or Volcarona. I'm leaning slightly toward Metagross. I don't think I'm going to save Terra for Volcarona. I think I want to burn it immediately on Dragonite and get big knockouts. If I can start clearing some stuff out of the way right away, then 
Maybe I can take advantage of that in the late game. Water Urshifu and Arch Talonon. That's cool. I'm tempted to Sucker Punch E-Speed into their Urshifu. And I don't think I want to think twice. I think I'm just going to do it. I'm just doing it. I want to turn my brain off and go with the plan that I went with. They swap out Archaladon. That's a good sign. Into Pelipper. That's a really good sign. That to me implies you're going for a big water move right here. Maybe even Terra. Yes, you are! You are! That's amazing. That's terrible. That's Terra Steel. That's the worst possible scenario. Who has Terra Steel on their water Urshifu? What? Oh no. <laughs> Okay, I, I just... That's hilarious, honestly. That is hilarious. Let's see how much we do anyway. Stream Speed does a decent chunk. Sucker Punch doesn't finish them off. Yep, they just barely lived. I thought they would. And we lose Chen Pao for that. Wow! Terra Steel Urshifu? That's crazy. That is actually crazy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now I think I want to go Bolt. Yeah, I want to go Bolt now. <laughs> That's so crazy. Now I could Thunderclap the Urshifu, I could Thunderclap the Pelipper, I could just Thunderbolt, I could E-Speed either slot. I think I get the most value out of E-Speed into that slot. It's a pretty free swap in there for their Arch Haladon. Is it worth me to read that? Because this guy is crazy. This guy has Steel Urshifu. They might just be willing to get rid of it now. Is this crazy? I don't know. This might be too crazy. This might be a stupid play. Okay. They didn't, they didn't do what I thought they would do. Alright, we get the Urshifu though. That's why this is still an okay mid-ground play. So we still knock out the Urshifu. I was hoping they would bring in Arch Paladon. And I could Draco it. Yeah, they just Tailwind, so Thunderclap wouldn't have done anything there. But Thunderbolt would have been much better to throw. And they are Sash on Pelipper. That's cool. Yep, now you just go back into Archaladon. The extreme speed into Pelipper is so obvious. I should probably get Dragonite out. So I can go for a different move. And just Thunderbolt the Pelipper now. Because they're going to think I'm switching Bolt. And I do want to switch Bolt. But I don't have to do that right now. And the Hurricane Metagross takes that really nicely. And it's an Electro Shot. Yeah, you're just boosting. I don't like that. But are you going to throw that at Raging Bolt? No, you're throwing it at Metagross. That's going to hurt. Yeah, that's spicy. But Pelipper's gone, which is good. How do I get through that Archaladon now that it has a special attack boost? And they have a Chen Pao. This is probably an Electro Shot into Metagross and an Ice Spinner, or a Sucker Punch into Metagross and a Dragon Move. Might as 
well bullet punch the Chen Tao, break a sash there. And is it worth it bringing in Dragonite now? I think it is. This is gonna be a tough ending. They've got speed, so they've got control here. Hmm. I would have loved to get the Draco Meteor onto our Chaladon earlier. Alright, let's see what they went for. They just sucker punched the Metagross. Alright. Oh, and their Life Orb Chen Pao. I didn't need to break the Sash anyway. The Dragon. Oh, and it's a crit? Oh, that does way too many damages. Okay. They can pretty easily protect Chen Pao and go after Dragonite with a Dragon move. Or any move. I think that's their play. I think they go after Dragonite and protect Chen Pao. Can Raging Bolt take on Chen Pao? Probably not. Do my win combat. Draco Meteor knocks out our Chaladon combined with E-Speed. Yeah, I think that is it. Yeah, you protect your Chen Pao, so I didn't have any better play to go for here. That should be in Draco range. Maybe you go for, like, a move they can miss? No, just Dragon Pulse. Nice and clean. Then my win condition is a crit thunderclap onto Chen Pao. Keep getting into these positions with you, Raging Bolt. Nope, I don't even pick up our Chaladon. In that case... Come on, Bolt. You didn't even pick that up. I don't think I'm gonna use you after this. <laughs> Okay, Thunderclap, crit, Chen Pao, we die to Dragon Pulse. Thunderclap, crit, Archaladon, we die to Ice Spinner. Which will kill me more? I feel like we're more likely to live in Archaladon hit, so I'm just gonna go this way. We're not gonna live either. No, we didn't get the crit anyway. Double that plus, plus crit though, that would have done it. Yeah, we weren't gonna live the Ice Spinner. Good game. Okay, we're fighting an Ogre Pond Wellspring, Landorus Incarnate, Archaladon, Tornadus, Urshifu, and Pikachu. That's adorable. And they have a higher rating than I do, so they know something with that Pikachu. That's just a really solid rain team and a Pikachu. Uh, what's my answer into a really solid rain team? Chen Pao Dragonite seems pretty good. Uh, what about Metagross? Not so much. Raging Bolt would be good, but that's actually what Pikachu's there for, I think. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. Pikachu is your Raging Bolt counter. You also have Landorus. Yeah, I don't think Bolt's the way. Maybe it's Ogre Pond. It's definitely not Volcarona. Is it Bolt anyway? Or is it Metagross? I think it's Bolt anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go Raging Bolt. They have a Pikachu, so maybe I can't use my electric moves. But I think it's gonna be okay. I think we can get rid of the Pikachu. At some point. Cool card. Ooh, cool outfit. Alright. Double Genie lead. Tornadus Incarnate, Landorus Incarnate. I like to see this. I'm cool with this. Uh, I'm just gonna go for what I was gonna go for, and just extreme speed. 
into the Landorus. And then probably Ice Spinner in the other guy. Um, yeah, they've got switch-ins, but it's fine. That's what I'm doing. Alright, they terastalized. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Tornadus. Into Steel. Okay. I see it. That's fine. I'm extreme speeding the other slot anyway. Are you just gonna Tailwind Protect? That would make a lot of sense, actually. Paris Steel, make sure you don't go down to E speed. Get up a Tailwind. But you don't really need a Tailwind. I'm just gonna throw priority moves all day. And yeah, it's just a protect on Landris. Okay. You get your Tailwind, or whatever it is you do. Maybe they just go for Bleak Wind Storm. No, it is Tailwind. Okay, that's fine. And I get an Ice Spinner, which does almost half. Wow. So Sucker Punch can take that out. So I'm going to Extreme Speed and I'm going to Sucker Punch. I'm not too worried if you just use a status move or swap out. Yeah, you're getting rid of that. You're going to set up range and bring in our Chaladon, I guess? That's exactly what you're doing. Okay. Our Chaladon is in. And takes pretty decent damage, if I'm being honest. And Sucker Punch lands. No rain for you. Awesome. That's really cool. Alright, alright. And that's just a jolly Chen Pao. I guess that Tornadus didn't have enough bolt. Okay. Our Chaladon's at plus one defense. I have Sacred Sword for it. They still have Terra, though. And who's this? Water Ogre Pond. I see. What do I want to do about that? Do I even want to do anything about that? I don't think I react. I think I just E-speed. Okay, they spiky shielded. Okay. I did throw a Sacred Sword, and you didn't terrestrialize. No, you already terrestrialized Tornadus. Yeah, I, that should have been a follow me or something. Alright, you get your chip on Dragonite. Plus one body press. Yeah, with my defense down. That doesn't do it? Nice! Oh, I'm glad I went bulkier rather than fast Dragonite. Bye, Archaladon. That's amazing. Okay. And then you've just got Landorus. Which is the bigger threat? Is, is the Landorus. But, ooh, you just protected this guy. How's that Tailwind coming along? Last turn? Okay, I'll just extreme speed and protect. Oh, they get the double spiky shield. Dragonite's gone. Wow. Wow, okay. Alright, good on you. I guess you got it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is that going to be a problem? I don't think so. So I can't Ivy Cudgel, but I can Wood Hammer into their Ogre Pond. I don't think that knocks it out. But yeah, I double their Ogre Pond. Ice Spinner Wood Hammer definitely knocks them out. And then even if they do something with Landorus, they're gone. If they get a hit off with Ogre Pond and Landorus, 
they can't take us both out anyway. Yeah, that's fine. And they just use follow me anyway. Okay. They don't know this, but my Ogre Pond is faster than Lando. So maybe they're going for a outspeed and sludge bomb play here. A <laughs> little backflip with Woodhammer, I love it. Goodbye, your Ogre Pond. And then my Chen Pao has a sash, so it always wins this. Just Sans here, Storm, anyway. Okay. Very cool. Now, if you're not sure, Force, and you get the double burn, no. Good game. Alright, and we're back with the rental code. You made it. If you've been watching it this far, you probably liked it, so why don't you give me a like, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me play more with this team and with some other teams. I promise this isn't the only team I play. In fact, if there's a team you want to see me play, shoot me a note in the comment, and I'll see if I can give it a shot. But anyway, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace!